Greetings human creatures, welcome back to another video, I'm Joe Warlock and today, obviously, it's another unboxing. Today's unboxing is the infamous or famous Loot Crate, still the largest crate company in the world that nearly went bankrupt and then got bought out and hopefully that means they're going to be a lot better and I hope they are. So here is Loot Crate. I don't know the theme, I don't even know what month it's for because they're still slightly behind and they're trying to catch up. Bless them, they really are trying. The details of the Loot Crate are as follows. Loot Crate is £24 in the UK plus your shipping and handling which takes it to about £27. Supposedly $45 plus dollars worth of value and it is a monthly crate. Probably just, just worth noting here. It is Black Friday tomorrow, technically, so if you want to get these crates, you can get 30% off them, which is actually better than the normal price. I'll leave a link down below. So yeah, Black Friday, 30% off all loot crates. Go and have a look. Until then, we will get on with this box. I just wish I knew what month it was from. But oh well, I also don't have a knife, so I'm going to try and um, cut it open with scissors. How do I... How should I... Uh, come on. Get... No, get... Oh! <laughs> I should not be allowed near sharp objects. Right, it's open, it doesn't matter. Stick it over there, and we'll start with the first item. I don't know why I say let's start with the first item, because you can't start with the third item, can you? The first item is going to be the first thing you grab. Don't need to be saying this. Let's just get on with it. Item number one is... It's the pin! Don't know why I was so confused. 50 years of Scooby-Doo. Yes, Scooby-Doo, Scooby, Scooby-Dooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Don't know, where is Scooby-Doo these days? Last time I saw him, he was with The Undertaker from WWE. Very confusing. They must have some weird deal. Anyway, Scooby Snacks, because if you remember, in the show, Scooby and Shaggy, they eat Scooby Snacks, which I'm pretty sure was pot or something, because, I mean, just look at them. It's a talking dog and clearly a stoner. Everybody knows this. It's not a secret, not a secret. It was also a fantastic song from Reservoir Dogs? Maybe? I can't remember. Skimmy Snacks, Fun Loving Criminals, great band, Huey, very strange guy. But yes, a pin from Scooby Doo. I don't know what the pins go for. 250, 5 quid, 750, make up your own mind. It's a pin. We'll move quickly on with item two when I can find the box. There it is. The second thing is going to be a bat. Oh, okay. Aquaman. Done. Pretty sure in a previous crate they said there's supposed to be an Aquaman coin, but there's no coin this month, so we'll send it another month. Guessing what this? Guessing what? I'm guessing this is. I'm guessing this is what that is. Words are really difficult for me sometimes. Right, let's have a look. It's a nice little bag there. Oh, oh, that's a bit of. Oh, I'm not mad at Aquaman. It's quite nice. I know it's just a. It's not even a coin. And yes, I can't say coin. Feel free to take the mic. Everyone does. But uh, yeah, so we have on the one side. Aquaman, Jason Momoa, fight for justice. And on the other side, the villain of the piece, Black Manta. I'm not a huge fan of Aquaman, I'm far more like Namor the Marvel things, but uh, you know, the film did brilliant, it's like billions and stuff and all that kind of jargon. It's a really nice coin, it's very nice design, very nice coloring. That's not bad, worth the wait. But do I add it into the price of this crate or the crate that it didn't come out of? Hmm. Instead of worrying about that, I'm just going to move on to the third item, which is the t-shirt. Oh, I usually do the t-shirt first. I've ruined it. Never mind. It's a very thin t-shirt, though. What on earth? Oh, oh, that's well, oh, that's really thin. That's definitely a summer t-shirt, so I'm guessing this is a summer box. And it says, visit the friendly neighborhood of Queens. Friendly neighborhood of Queens? Is it friendly? I've been to a few places in New York. I don't remember going to Queens. Maybe it's very nice. Um. Yeah, there's not a lot to say about that, is there? Oh, is that the vulture in the background? There it- oh, oh. <laughs> There's the vulture, and there's the hobgoblin, or the green goblin, or something. And there's Spider-Man, because apparently, when they did Marvel, they went, Where should we set things? Where are we at the moment? We're in New York. Let's set everything in New York. Spider-Man, New York, X-Men, just outside New York. Other people, New York, everybody's in New York. I think even the Fantastic Four, I think, are in New York. Everybody's just in New York. Stan Lee wasn't very creative, I'm very sorry. He just looked out of the window and went, this will be the setting for everything ever. Anyway, he also created some of the most memorable characters ever, so maybe he was a little bit creative. Just saying. Anyway, yep, yeah, Spider-Man t-shirt, very thin, kind of nice. Uh, about a tenner. Moving swiftly on with, ooh, there's a big box. Ooh, it's a roll. Is this a poster thing? Ooh, it's either a poster or someone's just thrown in a very large toilet roll. Fantastic. Alright, you go over. 
there. Nearly smashed my PC. Not the best plan. And it is... Boom. It's like a trip back to the 60s. It's a poster of the uh, mystery machine and the Scooby-Doo people. Velma and Scrappy, who's not there. Uh, George. I don't remember any of their names. Selma, Velma, Scooby, Shaggy. Uh, Scooby and Shaggy. No one, knows, no one cares about any of the characters. Anyway, yeah, there you go. It's a uh, Scooby-Doo 50 year poster. It looks like one of those sort of glow in the dark kind of things. That's kind of horrific. If you didn't know Scooby-Doo, basically, they went around solving mysteries. And I don't understand how they did that. Why would anyone hire a bunch of kids? You had two random women, you had a bloke who wore an ascot for some reason, a complete stoner, and a talking dog. These will solve our crimes. And the best bit is, sorry to rip on Scooby-Doo, but the best thing about Scooby-Doo was at the very end, he pulled off the mask and they always said, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. No, you wouldn't. If you were caught by a bunch of idiotic kids, who didn't do anything for half an hour in the show, but still solved the mystery, you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. I'm just saying. You're a rubbish villain. Anyway, that was completely off the subject. Scooby-Doo poster. It's kind of nice if you've got a black light. Good for you. If you've got a black light, you're living in the wrong era, I think. And also, that's kind of scary if you have a black light in your room. That's going to reveal things. Anyway, uh, Scooby-Doo poster. Fiverr. Don't know. Item. Uh, I'm going to leave the biggest box to last. Every time. Right, there is, oh no, there is something else. Aha, there's a big box. I'm gonna leave that for a second. What is this? Oh, it's a sticker. <gasps> oh. My other ride is a Leviathan. Jim Henson, Farscape. Oh, I used to watch this on BBC Two back in the era of TV channels. I don't know, late 90s, early 2000? When was it? When was Farscape? It was a really good show though. Farscape was actually really, really good. It was a bloke. I kind of know what happened, some sort of interdimensional time thing, and he was somewhere in the future. And there was a blue lady who I met a few years ago. Really nice. Um, and other things. There was like a small thing that looked like uh, looked like the Samiad. There's a thing. Do people know what the Samiad is? Five children in it. Do you remember the TV show? The original TV show with the little trolley thing that lived in the sandpit? Do you know what I'm on about? I'm not insane. This was a real thing. Look it up. Anyway, there was a thing that looked like that. Was he called Rigel? Oh, things are coming back. And there was also, there was like a creature, an alien thing. She had like black and white hair. She was female. She was kind of fit. Getting off track here. At least I think she was fit. Really getting off track. Anyway, yeah, there was a the ship was called the Leviathan and they flew it and they fought things. It was like a dude who had what looked like an s and outfit on. It was very, it was a weird show. It was by Jim Henson. Or his company or something. Anyway, yeah, there you go. There's Leviathan. There's the sticker. I'm a professional YouTuber. Next item is the largest item and the last item. Let us see. Get out. Ooh. Ooh, that's got a bit of weight to it. Mm. I'm cut. Mm. Ah. See, when you have so many crates, here's one of the problems. This is Fallout Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor. No problem with that. My issue is you have a gaming crate and you have a fallout crate, and yet this is in the normal loot crate. So either this has been in both of those crates, or one of those crates, or it should have been. It's very confusing. I don't quite understand that, but okay. I'll let you off, because I don't have it. And, oh, I like fallout. I like fallout four. There was others, and they weren't so good. Fallout 76, what was that? That was just, it was like trying to do multiplayer, and they did it really, really badly. I know, I'll unbox it in a second. Calm, calm yourselves. Calm yourselves. Well, yeah, it's uh, made by Bathun... Bathunda? Bathunda! Bathun... Not Bathun... What am I trying to say? It's made by Bethesda? 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 I think I'm having a stroke. It's made... It's it's made by Bethesda. The game is made by Bethesda. There you go. Four way. Right, let's... How do we... There we go. Try and get out of this box. Oh, that looks nice. Don't need that. Or that. Do need that. Ooh, it's got a base and everything. Yeah, it's basically a nuclear bomb goes off kind of thing. And people are in vaults and they come out and they go, oh, look at the world, it's destroyed. And that is Fallout in a nutshell. <laughs> Quick review of Fallout in three seconds. Can I, how do we, where is it? Is it? Mm-hmm, I think it is. Get on that. Right, there we go. That is. I really like that might be one of the best things I've had in a loot crate, and it might actually be from another crate entirely. 
But that's amazing. It's vault 126. This is like the lid of one of the vaults. The lid? Do you call the lid of a vault? Do you call the vault to the top of it? Doesn't matter. It's not important. Let's move on. Anyway, the power armor, which is like exceptionally good. I'm loving the detail on that. That's a really cool paint job. All the sort of rusty damaged marks, like it's been standing around for a long time. You wear the power arm in the game, it makes you sort of superhuman, because it's a giant bit of power armor and you can kill loads of baddies and mutants and things, it's great fun. But yeah, you can see his very tiny gun that it looks like. That gun does not look the right size for the power armor. Just saying. But the head on that is amazing, the dec just the tiny little details, even like the little chest insignia. But the helmet, the helmet is the best looking thing on that. That is incredible. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, that's that's really nice. If you're into Fallout or you just want something for display, that's a really good item. I'm actually impressed by that one. Fair play. I've somehow lost the crate. What the hell did I do with that? I found it, never fear. Anyway, that was Loot Crate 4. I knew there was something else. Loot Crate, that was Journey for July 29th. July? Only a few months out, but at least you get in there. Loot Crate for July 2019, the thing was Journey. Let's see everything we had super, super fast. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor. My other ride is a Leviathan sticker from Farscape. A Scooby-Doo blacklight poster. Aquaman coin thing. Scooby-Doo pin. Visit the friendly neighborhood of Queen's Spider-Man t-shirt. Okay, so that was everything. Opinion time. That's the best item. Then t-shirt. The coin's pretty good, actually. And then, I mean, that's kind of throwaway. The poster's kind of throwaway. The pen, if you like the pen, but it's still throw away for me. I mean, there's like seven quids worth of value there. There's there's more value than the cost of the box, just about. But I don't know if that's appeared in other boxes before. But there's still more value, so it's kind of good. I'm not massively impressed, but I am by the figure, and that's distracting me massively because I'm one of those people, I see one thing in a crate, and I'm like, oh, that's amazing, and I get distracted. This is why crates are built for me, because they put one brilliant thing in, and I'm like, I've forgotten the price, that's brilliant. And then you realize later, no. Actually, it probably wasn't worth it. Anyway, there is a sale on Black Friday. Link below in the description or at the top of the coin section. Somewhere like that, you can head over to jobble.live. I list every single crate on there, all the themes, everything, and all the discounts and all that kind of goody stuff. So check that out. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, the notification button, all that kind of stuff. If you're under 18, probably shouldn't be watching because that'll get my channel fined and eliminated because then the rules. If you want to support on Patreon and get your own mystery box from me, get your name in the credits, which you'll probably be running down here now or in a second or at some point, uh, yeah, go to Patreon, do that. In the meantime, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.